let's further start with some more sums on how to find sum of n numbers okay so you see show that a1 a2 a3 an form an ap where an is defined as below means i am given the nth term that an is nothing but 3 plus 4n the moment on the moment i go on change the values of n i will be go on getting the terms okay also find the sum of the first 15 terms first i have to check whether this given series is an ap let's try that so here an is given as 3 plus 4n that is nth term is given as 3 plus 4n to find first term my n should be 1 that is 3 plus 4 times 1 i get 7 second term ke liye kya hoga n should be 2 that is 3 plus 4 times 2 that is 11 for third term 3 plus 4 times 3 15 for fourth term as it will go on now see i have got the series as 7 11 15 19 19. you can see this is an ap because the first term is 7 and the common difference is 4 can you see that yes now what is my next task i need to find the sum of the first 15 terms that is i need to find s 15 means n is given as 15 i know a i know d so i find s 15 and 15 by 2 a plus a 15 if you want you can apply the formula of a and d also how to find a 15 i'll replace n by 15 just look at here a is 7 Plus a15. A15. What will become? A15 will become. I'll substitute a15 here. Ns15 here. So a15 becomes 3 plus 4 times 15. Are you getting it? So 10 plus 60. That is 70. 70 by 2 is 35. So we'll get the answer as 525. Okay. Let's move on to next sum now. The sum of first n terms of an AP. They are talking about first n terms ka sum. That is S n. S n is given as 4n minus n square. You have to find the first term. You have to find sum of first two terms. You have to find second term, then third term, then tenth term, then nth term. Okay. Before starting with the sum, let's look at the following example where I have four terms in an AP. See, I'm having four terms. If I want to find S4, yeah, I can do orally also. One plus two plus three plus four. That comes out to be ten. Now, if I take sum of first three numbers, previously I took first four. Now I'm taking first three. So if I take first three numbers, I get six. Now, if I take addition of all numbers, that is first four numbers, and subtract with the second last numbers, means I'm skipping the last number. Can you see? I'm not taking four over here. So I'm doing S4 minus S3. So S4 minus S3 kya aa raha hai? 10 minus 6 that is 4. What is this 4? This 4 is nothing but my last term of the sequence. Can you see? This 4 is nothing but my last term of the sequence. So I'm kya kar raha hu? I'm subtracting the sum of n terms minus sum of n minus 1 terms. What is 3? 4 minus 1. So I can say that my nth term of a series Is nothing but sum of n terms minus sum of n minus one terms. Are you getting it? I have added four numbers to add. Then three numbers to add. If I subtract them, I'll get the last number. So first I'm adding all first n numbers, then first n minus one numbers. So if I subtract them, I'll get my a n. So see your n term is ready now. Correct? Let's see that. So I'll apply the same formula. A n is equal to S n minus S n minus one. S n to diya hai. That is four n minus n square minus. Okay, now remember one thing. See here. N minus one. N ke jagah pe kya dalna hai? N minus one dalna hai. To main is equation mein n ke jagah pe dalunga n minus one. Again, instead of this n, I'll write n minus one. This whole bracket will be my S n minus one. Are you getting it? Now open this bracket. 4n minus n square. Yeh ho jayega minus 4n minus into minus plus 4 into 4. Again, a minus into minus kya ho jayega plus 
एन माइनस वन स्क्वायर क्या हो जाएगा एन स्क्वायर माइनस टू एन प्लस वन करेक्ट सो सी इफ यू सी दिस नाउ आई जस्ट ग्रुप दी लाइक टर्म्स तो फोर एन फोर एन कैंसल हो गया ना एन स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर भी कैंसल हो गया वॉट इज लेफ्ट फोर प्लस वन दैट इज फाइव फाइव माइनस टू एन सो वट आई एम गेटिंग ए एन एस फाइव माइनस टू एन इफ यू सी द प्रीवियस सम to find the first term i'll put n as 1 to find the second term i'll put n as 2 now see what i want sum of first two terms kya chahiye sum of first two terms so first term kya hai 3 second term kya hai 1 so what is sum of first two terms 4 now i want third term how will you find third term a3 will be 5 minus 2 times 3 what will be tenth term 5 minus 2 times 10. So see these are our required answers. First term, second term, sum of two terms, a3 and a10. Please see this example first. You can take another series. Of, uh, same example you can take two, four, six, eight. You check what answer you get. Then do addition of these three. Check what answer you get. Subtract them. You will get the Answer as eight. That is, you get the answer as the last term. That is, this formula is verified. A n is nothing but sum of n terms minus sum of n minus one terms. Okay. Next, sum of seven hundred rupees. Sum of seven hundred means in all I have collected seven hundred rupees to give seven cash prizes. So here my n comes out to be seven. My s comes out to be 700 are you getting it if each prize is 20 less than its preceding prize if the first prize amount is x second amount should be x minus 20 correct to mera d kitna ho gaya minus 20 because it is 20 less you see n is given as 7 s 7 700 d minus 20 i am saying let a be my first prize So what will be second prize? A minus twenty and so on. So what is given to me? S seven is given. What is S seven? N by two, two a plus n minus one, two a plus n minus one d. So I'll substitute the values. I'll get the value of a. What is a? A is the value of the first prize. So a is coming out to one sixty. Every subsequent prize is twenty rupees less. So one sixty. 140, 120 up to 40 because there are only seven prizes, so I'll go up to seven terms only. Okay. 200 logs are stacked in the following manner. Please refer diagram from a textbook. 5.3 exercise. 20 logs in the bottom row. In the last row there are 20 logs. Second row there are 19. Third row there are 18. So every row one log is getting less. So how many logs are in total? 200. So S N is given as 200. The AP will be as follows: 20, 19, 18, and so on. What will be D minus one? Correct. A will be 20. Addition of all logs means if I talk about all the rows, the total number of logs will be 200. So in short, S N is given as 200. आपको क्या find करना है N. तो देखो, S N is equal to N by 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. If I go on solving, I am getting a quadratic equation. What I'm getting, I'm getting a quadratic equation. Multiplying, I want 400. Adding, I want 41. So, what are factors of 400? It can be 20 into 20, but उससे आंसर नहीं आएगा. Next, it can be 25 into 16. Correct? Let's try 25 plus 16, 41, and 25 and 16 is a 400. So, see, these are the factors. I'll take n minus 25, n minus 25 common. Now see the problem arises. Here, par n 16 bhi aa raha hai. Here, par n 25 bhi aa raha hai. Means one child is saying there are 16 rows. One child is saying there are 25 rows. So let us check which of them is correct because both answer cannot be correct. If n 16 liya, let us find what is a 16. मतलब 16th row में कितने logs आएंगे? So a 16 will be 5. 5 is the proper counting number. So 16 can be the answer. Let's try for 25. Our 25 rows were 
So I would have had minus four logs in 25th row, which is very, very wrong. I cannot have negative logs. Okay. Therefore, the answer is 16. Okay. So 25 is not possible. Hence, n is 16. Next, find the sum of all three digit numbers, each of which leaves remainder 2 when divided by 3. The first number, which is exactly divided, if I talk about 100, the first three digit number, is 3 say divide kia. What will be my remainder? Yes. It is a 9. It is a 9. My remainder will be 1. But I want remainder as 2. So if I take 101, it's the first number which will have remainder as 2. These are my remainders, okay? So if I take 101 as the first three digit number, it leaves remainder 2. So my series is 101, 104, 107. And the last three digit number, triple nine is completely divisible. So say pehle 998 liya, it will give remainder as 2. You can verify. So I want to find sum of all these numbers. So I know first term, I know last term. Jab last term pata hota hai, we apply that formula to get number of terms. Same I'll do here. So I'm applying an ka formula to get n. So what is n over here? n is coming out to be 300. Once I get 300, n as 300, I can find sum of all those numbers. That is as 300. Substitute the values, we get this as the answer. Okay.